If you want to get here in your real estate photography business, but you're stuck here, here, or maybe even here, or really anything below $20,000 a month, here's everything you need to know to get there. There are a few different fundamentals to get just right to make sure you're getting to your goal of $20,000 every month correctly. But the main one I want to talk about in this video is your online presence. This is where you need to start. Importance numero uno. And your online presence consists of your Instagram, other social media, your website and your content creation. Without these on lock, you're fighting an uphill battle in your business. So make sure you get these down and you'll have massive support behind you, helping you push along to get more natural and organic inquiries and referrals coming your way on a consistent basis, which means more money. If you're a new real estate photographer looking to build up a portfolio and acquire your first clients, you'll use Instagram, more specifically the Instagram marketing method. If you're an existing real estate photography business owner, but you need more clients, then you need to use Instagram, more specifically, also the Instagram marketing method. The method, or as I'll refer to it in this video, the IMM looks something like this. Take a couple of shots once you've practiced your skills a bit, either clean up your own home or maybe someone that you know has an Airbnb that they rent out and post those photos to your Instagram page. Then make two reels introducing yourself and your business, make another three reels going over your services and another two reels showing how someone can schedule a shoot with you and your main service areas. The whole goal of this portion is to have something on your Instagram page so that when someone lands on it, you look legit and like a real business. Have your bio written out with a link to your website, which we'll go over next and include your service area, your main service you wanna do more of and a very short description of your business. Bonus points if you create an Instagram account with the name that is your city plus real estate photography, as that's an amazing keyword to use, which will get you showing up in more searches for this service. Then once your Instagram page is somewhat populated with the bare minimum it should have in the beginning, you can start reaching out. Go to search, type in realtor and follow every single realtor that shows up in that search. Then interact with all their content, like every post that you see in their feed, comment something congratulatory when someone posts a sold listing, just generally engage with people's content. These realtors are your main target client. So the more they see notifications of your account interacting with their stuff and useful interactions, don't just go on their page and like every single one of their photos. That's spam. They'll be getting familiar with your brand when you do it right. Then after a couple days of interactions, shoot them a DM to open up a conversation. Now, the whole point of this next step is to eventually get them to have you shoot their next listing. But you can't just send them a first message and say, hey, I'm Doofus McDummy. I'd love to shoot your next listing. What do you say? You've introduced absolutely zero value to them and they have no reason to even respond to you. So 99% of the time, they probably won't. From this point, you can either go one of two directions. The first direction is the avenue of relationship building. It's probably the one that you want to prioritize. After all, the whole goal is to convert these people into clients which means you'll have a relationship with them at some point. So you might as well get to know them now, right? Ask them how business is going. Ask them how long they've been a realtor, what their favorite zip codes are to buy and sell houses in. Just get to know them, be a human being and talk to them. The second direction you can take is just immediately jump straight to the point. Something like, hey, I'm so and so. And I know you probably already have a photographer that you most likely use, but I'm doing some outreach and I really want to work with you. In case your photographer ever can't make it to one of your listings, can I be your backup plan? While this is a totally viable option and one that I've used with success before, I'd err on the former option of relationship building. That's something I've had far more success with. The first goal here is to just establish connections because you never know who will eventually call you. I've had DMs on and off with potential clients for upwards of like eight months before, before they finally reached out to me. And now they're continuing clients. You just never know who will convert so just nurture those relationships. The second goal is to get work and fast. And I catch a lot of hate for this online, but here's what I did and saw great results. So here's what you can do, how you can do it and get clients super fast. Offer free shoots. Reach out to these realtors and offer to shoot their next listing for free. Don't just jump straight to the point and DM saying that. Establish some sort of connection first and then be honest and upfront saying something like, I'll be honest, I'm really trying to get some more work and I'm having some difficulty. I know I can provide a ton of value to you. I only need to prove it. I'd love to provide you with a totally free marketing package for your next listing with the expectation that if you love what you see, you use me for your next listing as my paid client. Would you be opposed to that? The key in the psychology of how you're framing this at the end here is by ending the prompt with a desired answer of no. It's so much easier to pull a no from someone, but the way you've asked this question, a no actually means your yes. 
If I came to your house and asked, I see your grass is two feet high. Would you be opposed to me mowing your lawn for free? You'd probably say, no, I wouldn't mind that at all. That would actually be amazing. So framing the question when you're looking for a no is going to be way more beneficial than just asking, can I shoot your next listing for free? Which can introduce some level of awkwardness for who you're talking to. If you want to know which services I recommend offering in a free marketing reach out package, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be making a whole video on that. But do these reach outs every single day. Message like 10 realtors a day. And quick note here, make sure you're using some variation in your messaging. Don't just copy and paste the same intro message to 10 people because Instagram will probably disable your account's DMing privileges for like 24 to 48 hours, or sometimes even up to seven days if you're like really spamming. If you do this and you're a brand new real estate photographer who just practiced in your own home, I guarantee you this is the fastest way to get real world experience lightning fast. This is what I did to grow my business and I wholeheartedly recommend it to all of my students. They've all found success with it too. You will too. And if you're a current real estate photography business owner who's looking for more clients to scale to that $20,000 a month level, this is how you can do it too. Four years in and I still do this to get new clients. I'm making enough money to not be worried about offering an $800 marketing package for free because I have the confidence in my services and the experience to back it up. And I know that it's a 90% chance that this realtor will call me back for the same package or higher for their next listing, this time as a paying client. I'll try not to go on a rant here, but you'll see photographers on both YouTube and Reddit just completely bashing the idea of offering free shoots, citing bogus reasons like never work for free, you'll attract bad clients, or you're devaluing the industry, or you're underselling yourself. All those points are wrong, and here's why. The first reason that they say is that you'll attract bad clients, which is flat wrong because the best clients I have are from giving out free shoots. But you don't know me. You don't care about my personal experience and opinions. I could be lying for all you know. So I'll give you a more analytical reason. If you think about it from a more businessy perspective, which is how you should view everything in your entrepreneurial journey, is that the biggest companies in the world give away free samples and free trials of their products and services to hook clients and customers all the time. So why on earth would you think that your brand new real estate photography business would be above doing what, you know, Apple does three trillion dollar business giving out free 90 day trials of Final Cut Pro. It's just so backwards. The second analytical reason is that when you offer something for free, 99 percent of the people receiving that free product or service knows that it won't be free forever. Really, the biggest key here is establishing realistic expectations for who you're talking to. And especially if you flat out say in your offer in the DM to this potential client, if you like what you see in this free package, you'll hire me again for your next listing as a paid client. So boom, first reason, absolutely obliterated. The second reason they'll say it's a bad idea is that you'll be devaluing the industry. My answer to that is the same as what I just talked about. Billion dollar companies do it. Why can't you? Also, do you really want to be getting business advice from some random person on Reddit not even knowing if they have a successful business in your niche in the first place? Probably not. The third reason they'll cite is that you'll be selling yourself short. This is flat wrong. In the beginning of your business, you're going to be new and you're probably going to suck. So you need low stakes opportunities to have the opportunity to blunder and mess up where you're not going to piss off a paying client and force them to go in another direction. In that situation, you'd probably end up just doing the work for free anyways because they'll demand a refund. But in that scenario, instead of establishing low expectations with low stakes and messing up where nobody's really going to care, you've pissed off a real client that will probably never use you again. So just do it for free. OK, so I did go on a bit of a rant about that. But here's the main thing you need to know. If you want to facilitate the acquisition of clients at lightning speed with very little downside, no matter if you're new to the business or experienced, offer free shoots to the clients you want to work with. This alone can net you, depending on volume of reach outs, three to 10 new clients a month. 10 new clients a month can look like $10,000 a month right there. If like mine, your average shoot revenue per listing is hovering about $1,000. If you want to increase your average shoot revenue, you have to get better at things like upselling, packaging, providing amazing customer service, and always giving great value to your clients to keep them coming back for more. But I'll go over that in another video. And I think I already talked about that in another video. This is the hard truth. If your website sucks, clients will think your business sucks. They'll think your pictures suck, your videos suck, your customer service sucks, your attention to detail sucks, and you suck. All because you haven't taken the time to create a really good website that conveys professionalism across the board. I'm not going to go too much in depth on this point, but I'll leave you with a couple key points here. 
You want your website to generate leads. If you don't know anything about search engine optimization, learn it. You want to show up when someone searches for real estate photography services in your area. So learn how to attack the copy on your website so you can facilitate this. My website ranks number one in the search results for seven different keywords. And as a result, people click on my website and hire me if they're not turned off by my exorbitant pricing. Before I did real estate photography and still actually I did website design and marketing. So there's a little bit of psychology behind how to create a website that actually facilitates the conversion from site visitor to real estate photography client. Think of it like a funnel where they enter in at the top and then it points them down into a singular point. That singular point being site conversion into client. The foundational piece of information, the main one I'm going to cover in this video is your website's homepage layout. Like I said, think of it as a funnel. It's big on top and it all funnels down to a single convergence, a single point. And that single point is ultimately the goal of having a site visitor book a shoot, hire you for your services. Here's the way your website should be designed. So at the top, you have your header. Make sure it looks nice and easy to navigate. Think things like home about portfolio resources and a big book now button. You don't need anything else, so don't have anything else. Then right below that is your hero section. And on the left side, think what you do, who you do it for and what sets you apart. But in very little detail, very short in the top little text here, make it smaller and apply an H1 tag so Google knows to look for it and write the best real estate photographer in your area. When you tag it as an H1, it tells Google that it's the main keyword that accurately reflects everything about this page. In the section below that, you'll have a quick image gallery, no more than three rows of four images. So 12 of your best pictures. This is just so someone can have an extremely quick reference of what your photos look like so they can see if they like your style. I see so many people make this mistake. Their portfolio will be like 200 images, 100 images, even 50 images. It's way too many. They can get the idea with just a couple exteriors, a couple kitchen pictures, maybe a backyard shot, a drone shot, that kind of stuff. Just people will get the idea. If you're going to be blasting them with a bunch of pictures, their, their eyes are just going to glaze over and they're just going to click off below that. You'll have three of your most popular bundles and their corresponding base prices and a button to book them. This makes it easy for someone who's scrolling through your web page to see a bundle that they might like to book and book it immediately. The most important aspect of all of this is to make your website as simple to use as possible. Make it so a four year old could use it. Make it just so glaringly obvious as to what the point of it is and how to do the desired thing that you want your site visitors to do. Make it simple. Below your bundles, have another call to action or a button that says view all services and bundles so someone can quickly navigate to everything you have to offer. Then you can expect to have an about me about us section so someone can see a picture of you and maybe you and your team so they can know who they'll be working with. Then below that is going to be your social proof. This is so, so important. People want to follow the pack. They don't want to be the first one to take a risk. If they see six plus five star reviews, all from other realtors in this field, some of which they probably know if they're local, they'll breathe a sigh of relief and be infinitely more likely to hire you because they've already seen that others trust you. So they'll be more likely to as well. Then slap on another call to action that says book now. Then everything else is somewhat less important. You can put a how it works, then maybe a follow me on Instagram, maybe a book now button. Then finally uh, your footer, which has a bunch of quick links and a giant book now button. And there you go. That's how your website's homepage should be structured to funnel qualified leads down and ultimately convert a site visitor into paying real estate photography client. I hope that helped. OK, third and final aspect of your online presence for client acquisition for this video, your content. Make a lot of it again. I'm not going to go super in depth here, but it's worth it to note that on average, it takes a potential client about seven interactions with your business and brand before they finally decide to hire you. If you aren't facilitating those interactions, if through various forms of engagement, content posting, anything, then you're probably not going to get those conversions. I know not everyone thinks they have the confidence or personality or voice or looks. <laughs> I say looks and point to myself like I'm this amazingly attractive person. That's hilarious. I know not everybody thinks they have that, but you don't have to. But if you want clients and you want this $20,000 a month, you might have to do things that are out of your comfort zone. Nothing worth having comes easy and you're going to have to do some stuff that you don't want to do if you want the bag. So suck it up. You don't have to be some personality constantly making videos like this one, but do a vertical social media video tour for every shoot you go on. Turn your selfie camera showing you at the front door and say, hey, let's take a tour and then flip the camera around 
and do those speed ramped walkthrough videos of the house that I'm going to show you how to do in a couple videos set to some trending audio on social media. And bonus tip, if you're already creating this, you can either use it as an upsell for your client for another hundred bucks or so to increase your listing revenue, or you can provide it to them for free as a thank you for hiring them, whichever you think is more valuable, just food for thought. And some examples of content you can create would be like creating valuable information inside of a text carousel on Instagram or a reel explaining how you do your photos or content describing your average day behind the scenes, this and that, anything, some, some, any, literally anything you can do that is at least tangentially related, you know, just related to your real estate photography business, you should do. The whole goal here is to start eating away at those seven interactions so you can convert more followers and viewers into paying clients as quickly as possible. And don't worry if your content is cringy when you start to post. You know, I don't know if what I'm making is that great. Can you tell me if you're enjoying what you see? I'm just making these videos to get used to it and get better and better. The more you post, the better you will get, the better your content, the more followers and clients you're going to get. It's just a time game. If you pair all that together, the Instagram marketing method offering free first shoots to new clients, a killer website that generates and converts leads because it's at the top of the search rankings and three consistent content being posted to your social media accounts for your realtor followers to see, you'll absolutely be making $20,000 a month in your real estate photography business. It's it's just a numbers game. You'll have a commercial project come in every month for $4,000. You'll have variable inquiries for various thousand dollar packages. It's not that much work. With my average listing revenue right now, $20,000 a month is only 20 shoots. That's roughly probably 30 hours a month in actual shoot time, maybe a little bit more 35 or 40, and then maybe another 10 to 20 hours in different various editing things. It's not that crazy. It's just how you structure your business to support that. If 20 shoots a month for you right now, because you're just doing photos, looks like $2,000 a month, then you need to work on your service offerings and the way you're positioning your business. It's getting me fired up. There's so many different ways that you can get to where you want to go. You just have to learn. All right, that's it. I hope that helped. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll answer them. If you got value out of this and want more, I've got three options for you. One, I wrote a 260 page ebook called The Million Dollar Photographer, which is a real estate photography business framework that goes over all this kind of stuff I talked about and so much more, which I'll leave a link to purchase down below. And I also have a one hour free training workshop that is coming. It's not quite done yet, but I'll leave a link down below when it is ready. So if you're watching this, I don't know, like a month after I uploaded this video, it's probably live. My third and final option for you is coaching. Every three months, I open up only 25 spots, only 25 to students who want to start, build, run and scale their very own real estate photography businesses. And that program consists of a customized roadmap that's tailored to each and every single student's individual circumstances and goals. So if that's something you're interested in learning more about, there's a link to apply down below. We can jump on a call and I'll explain more about it to you. Also, before I leave, I have a bunch of links to free downloadable resources for you as well. A pre-shoot checklist for your clients to be prepared for shoots, a comprehensive shot list with image references for both photography and aerial photography. So you know what to get some editing presets for Lightroom and there's some other stuff too. Okay, that's it. Goodbye.